Before you guys watch this video, I just want to give you a reminder that I have a giveaway on my Instagram with my homie Kickstradamus. We're giving away these Air Mag Adapt BBs. So go to my Instagram, follow the rules, and uh, good luck. Welcome to the Q party! Long days, long and nice. You feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Put him in the dirt. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never be what is going on crew family? So your boy just got back a few days ago from All-Star Weekend 2019 in Charlotte, North Carolina. And to be honest with you guys, going into the weekend, I was not expecting it to be dope. Like I, it's Charlotte. Charlotte, like no offense to anybody who's from Charlotte or whatever, but like, like what do you, like what do you do there? But when I got there and when I started going to the events and just being in the city, it was a vibe. The events, everything. Like, it was just such a great atmosphere, and I'm very, very happy that I went. And if you guys did not know, I went because of SeatGeek. So I got to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for providing me with tickets. It's been three years in a row now that they've sent me to the All-Star Game. So I just want to say that I'm absolutely blessed to be working with such a great company. And if you guys do not know what SeatGeek is, it is a ticket company where you can purchase tickets for all types of events, basketball games, concerts, sporting events, whatever it is. SeatGeek is the way to go. And the good thing about SeatGeek is that they give your ticket a grade so that you know you're getting a good deal as well as a view of where your seats are before you even step into the arena and because I love you guys so much and seat geek loves you guys and they keep supporting and you guys keep supporting seat geek you know what I'm saying it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a uh, um, um, infinity damn it I don't know what I'm saying well anyway we're gonna give you guys twenty dollars off for the first time that you use my code Kais. so if you guys want to get yourself twenty dollars off use the code Kais. maybe you'll go to the all-star game next year in Chicago Chicago. Or maybe you'll just go to one of the concerts coming up like Travis Scott, Justin Timberlake. There's a lot of dope shows going on around this time of year. Make sure you guys check out SeatGeek. Obviously, I'm going to link it down below. Now, let's talk about All-Star Weekend. So, literally, me and Mina took a red-eye flight and we landed in Charlotte at exactly 7 a.m. The first event that we got invited to was a Foot Locker event. It was a very small event, kind of like a launch preview of what's going to be going down. I didn't vlog too much because it was just mainly about the product. But here's a quick little b-roll segment, I guess So yeah, as you guys can see Foot Locker was holding it down They had the hottest releases and it was just a great vibe to start the weekend off after that I actually cruised on over to the owners. It was called the owners HQ This was a sneakers pop-up for Nike that place was actually lit because on one of the days during all-star weekend Not only did we get to walk around and check everything out But LeBron James himself was there doing a little interview So we're gonna see what went down at sneakers and I'm also gonna show you guys a few clips of just the weekend and what I picked up so I'm not gonna just be sitting here and talking the whole time. So quickly, let's flash back to me in the hotel. What happened at the sneakers owners HQ? And then we'll check back in before we actually see what went down at the all-star game itself. Uh, I'm happy to be here in the I mean, uh, this is the best weekend for our sports. It's the all-star weekend. We have so many different people, so many different walks of life, so many different countries. So to be here representing uh, Charlotte, uh, I think it's great. I'm going to be in Space Jam too. Ooh, are we happy? Are we happy? Uh, we start filming that this summer, so that'll be crazy. Okay, so Mina's here. Mina took a nice little nap. I did too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, anyway, so the first pair of shoes I got was one that I've been wanting since I first found out they were coming back out. This is the second Pro Tro from Nike and Kobe Bryant. This is the Pro Tro Kobe 
4. Now the Kobe 4 was one of my favorite basketball shoes ever. This is probably top 3 of my favorite basketball shoes ever. One being the Kobe 8 and then this and the Kobe 9 being the other two. I just don't know which one's better but I really love this. So basically I guess that the modification here is that they put full zoom air compared to originally it only being half zoom air. That's what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure but the reason why they released this colorway first because this is the draft day colorway. As you guys can see right there on the back of the shoe let it focus that is the date that Kobe Bryant got drafted and he didn't get drafted by the Lakers he actually got drafted by the Hornets that's why this is in a Hornets colorway and this is kind of a nod slash kind of like a, a diss to the Hornets for training Kobe I guess so I got these from the Foot Locker House of Hoops headquarters and then from the Nike sneakers pop-up I got this bam we got the Nike sneakers bag this is actually a size seven and a half so this is the last size they had available but I got it because Mina is a Men's size 7. I was like, let me have her try them on. And she actually did try them on. They're a little bit big, but she's not a fan of the shoe. But I'm actually going to be assisting this shoe to someone else who really wants it, who you guys will see later. So I'll tell you guys that later. Bone Fear of God one. But I'm going to be assisting these to one of my good friends who's out here in Charlotte. But basically, we cannot waste any more time. There is so much going on out here in Charlotte. So we need to leave right now. We need some Starbucks in our system because we need some energy. Now, stepping away from Nike and Jordan brand I did actually stop by the Under Armour Steph Curry event now this event it was super for the community so basically Curry and his family opened up a new community basketball court in a community center champs East Bay and Under Armour I thank them for inviting me and getting me into the media section quickly we're gonna flash over there and see what went down at this Curry event <laughs> All right, so we just got to the Under Armour event, the Curry Court. It's pretty lit. What do you think of the shoes? You like them? They're so sick. I love the color because I'm obsessed with neon right now. Yeah, they're super sick. Apparently, the shoe is like themed after a prank he did in his college days. Put them in the dirt. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse. Put the beat in the hearse. This is absurd. Take a berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve. Man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling. What'd you get? I came out of the bathroom and I saw these in my size and I'm just so excited because I love neon. Shout out to Under Armour. Alright guys, so we just left the event. That was actually a very lit event because it wasn't just like going and seeing products. It was like active. Curry was there. The whole family was there. I left with my first pair of Curry 6s. I'm very excited to test these out. Shout out to East Bay Champs, Under Armour Basketball, Curry, everybody. And uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. We got the Curry 6s right here. Oh my god, this is going to be the all-star shoe. Let's see what's under because this box is like super big. If there's even anything under. Oh wow. Look at these right here. Hovers, Queen City. Oh, so this is like a special Charlotte colorway. Two for one, you feel me? All right, guys, so we just got to downtown right now. We've been moving around, making moves. We got Tony D in the building. We got Seth Fowler in the building. They are so energetic right now, right, guys? <laughs> my box broke, bro. His box broke. What'd you cop, man? Got the, the BB joint? Yeah, I go check it out my channel, man. <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm over being on the channel. I'll just shout my name and we're done. Anyway, guys, we're going to go check out... Uh, actually, I don't know what we're doing right now, so stay tuned. All right, so the last thing we did, obviously, during All-Star Weekend was go to the actual game. Now, the bad thing about this is that NBA does not allow people to film the court and upload it on YouTube. So I wasn't able to film too much, but I did get a little bit of myself and Mina going to the game. So quickly, let's see what went down at the Charlotte All-Star Game. All right, guys, so we just got into the arena. We are heading to our seats right now. We got a pretty good seat. We're in section 112. Arena food and drinks are expensive. Like a bottle of water is like $8. So this is what you do. Since you're gonna be spending a lot of money, food and drinks and stuff, you can save yourself money before even coming to the game by using my code when you buy your tickets on SeatGeek. So use my code, KAIS, get $20 off because that $20 is gonna go to your food. I promise you, that's how much it's gonna cost just for one person's meal is about 20 bucks. So be smart. 
The only way I think we can end this video is if I show you guys literally all my pickups from All Star Weekend in Charlotte. So I bought so much stuff and I got so much stuff from companies that I wasn't able to put it in my luggage. I literally had to ship myself everything. So we are gonna open this thing up. So first things first, this wasn't really an All Star Weekend pickup. I got these before All Star Weekend, but I took them out there with me and then I ended up not wearing them. During the basketball game actually, I'm gonna put this box down. So during the basketball game, they were throwing t-shirts and me and Mina weren't even paying attention and the t-shirt literally landed on our lap and I looked down and I opened it up and it was actually a pretty dope shirt it was a Charlotte all-star 2019 shirt it is a Gildan shirt shout out to the Gildan and I was able to get a few jerseys from Mitchell Ness so a huge shout out to Mitchell Ness for looking out for me first things first since we were in Charlotte I had to pick up a Hornets jersey now you're probably wondering Kais who's number 30 comment down below if you guys know who number 30 is he is obviously not a current player player if you know you know and of course I had to get a gold Michael Jordan Bulls jersey another question would you guys like to see my full uh, jersey collection uh, actually let's do a thumbs up if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up I'll show you guys my entire jersey collection another dope item that they hooked me up with just Don NBA all-star shorts you've got the all-star weekend with the little guitar on the front like these are just absolutely fire okay so I gotta add a little bit of a twist to this now most of the sneakers I copped, they make me happy. That sounds weird, but it's true. But one of the shoes I bought, it really crapped me out. And I'll explain why. But first, let me show you guys the shoes that made me really happy. The Air Jordan 6 in this, I want to say this is like a Concord colorway, to be honest with you. Now, this is a social status collaboration. To be honest with you guys, I don't think this is an actual social status collaboration. I feel like it's just the Jordan 6 that was coming out. And they kind of just labeled it as a social status collaboration. I could be 100% wrong. I honestly don't know. That's just my opinion on it because there is actually no social status branding on here. Jordan Brand gifted me these. Shout out to Jordan Brand and I already wore them. I wore them to the All-Star game and it was raining so the bottom is still icy. These are actually fire. I was kind of like iffy about them at first. They said which shoe that I like and I told them that I was actually digging these so they're like alright we'll, we'll get you a pair. So they got me these. Shout out to Jordan Brand for that. It still has the Nike Air on the back which I think is super dope. Not being an OG colorway I think that just makes it super dope. So yeah, man, that was my pickup from Jordan Brand. They also did hook up Mina with the UNC patent leather ones. She's not here right now, so I can't show you those because she's probably wearing them, but they also hooked her up, so thank you, Jordan Brand, for hooking up Wifey. That's our first shoe. Next up, Under Armour Champ Sports and East Bay hooked me up with my first pair of Under Armour Curry 6s. I am so excited to have these, and I... All right, my groceries are here. I'm actually so lazy that I, I uh, order groceries from this app called Instacart. And last but definitely least. Basically, this was the one shoe that I was looking the most forward to during All-Star Weekend. You guys might think I'm reaching here. You guys might think that I'm just trying to come up with a clickbait title, but this legitimately pissed me off. About a month ago, we found out Nike Basketball and Kobe are bringing back the Kobe 4 in a pro tro. The Kobe 4 absolutely amazing regardless if it's a pro tro or not the original kobe 4 is one of the best basketball sneakers of all of all time in my opinion i could not wait to put these on my feet i could not wait to play basketball in them and that was the first shoe i bought as you guys saw earlier in that clip so yesterday i get a text message in my group chat with like harris and swag ahmed and everybody and harris says nike lied about this being a pro tro and I'm like what are you talking about and then he sends a wear testers video wear testers is a company that's ran by Nightwing shout out to Nightwing probably the best on court reviewer if not yeah he is the best on court reviewer in in on YouTube right now on maybe of all time uh, but basically he was pissed as well because in the press release for this shoe Nike said that this would have full zoom air just like the Kobe one pro tro did basically what he says is that Nike made a mistake in their press release saying that it's full zoom air. He basically tested out the shoe, he took out the insert, and he kind of just, I guess he exposed this shoe because this shoe does not have full zoom air. It only has half zoom air, I believe, in the back of the shoe. I'm going to link his video down below because he explains everything. I'm just kind of giving you guys a quick summary of it, but basically, this shoe does not have full zoom air. This is not a pro tro. This is just a retro. Maybe Kobe doesn't even know that. Like, maybe Kobe got played himself. As a customer, as someone 
someone who literally paid for this shoe, I'm disappointed because I wanted to play in this shoe with the new technology. I, I legit feel like I got scammed. I hate to end this video on a negative note like that, but honestly, overall, this whole weekend or All-Star weekend, it was absolutely amazing. Like I said, Charlotte was the best All-Star weekend that I've like been to, but next year is Chicago, so I'm so excited about that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'm out. Make sure you guys subscribe to Crew Kicks because we brought that back two videos a week. And I got a giveaway this weekend. So follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. Yeah. They just want to do it how we do. Yeah. Living my life like the Beatles. Ooh. I just pulled up with some lethal. Ooh. They getting mad and deceitful. Yeah. I make it hard to be peaceful. Yeah. They tell me I got an ego. Yeah. But I'm putting up for my people.